This is Jeff with Crazy Quad Brothers P3. I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to set up your Phantom 3 drone. You're going to go into settings, go under Wi Fi. As you can see, mine already connected to the Phantom 3. Then you back out of that. Then you're going to go into your DJI Go app, which you download at the Play Store. and automatically it pops up when it's connected through Wi-Fi. Click on your camera and on that top you're going to see latest firmware. When you first get your quad it's going to ask you to update your firmware. How you do that is you're going to hit update on the top line. It's going to ask you to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi at the house or wherever you're at. Um, take the propellers off because sometimes when you're uploading uh, new firmware, it can cause propellers to spin. I haven't had this occurrence yet, but I have heard of it. Um, you're going to download that firmware, then you're going to switch back over to your Phantom 3, and you're going to load it into your quad, which can take sometimes up to 30 minutes. But since we're already calibrated and we're good, um, we're going to go ahead for a flight tonight. <clears throat> you hit calibrate, and you hit OK. <clears throat> And it's going to ask you to rotate your quad in a 360. You're going to do that with it facing vertical. And you spin until the light turns green on the back. Then you're going to turn it down so the camera's facing the, the ground. Spin in another 360 until you get green or yellow lights. In this case, we got green lights. So we are good to rock and roll. The knob on the top left, it's a little rolling wheel that adjusts your camera. And if you're going to go for flight, you're going to hit the little button that has a circle with the arrow pointing up, and it'll pop this screen up. You simply slide that over. Take off. And you're flying. Now there's a few things within the app I'll go over real quick. <coughs> uh, you got your home settings, your re home, uh, return to home altitude. You have your different settings. What those I'll do, they have beginner mode where it restricts you to a certain limit. And you have a distance limit. You can go into advanced settings. And it's got a bunch of different things. Uh, there's little red lights that are on it. You can turn those off or back on. They have smart return to home. Uh, that one is for if you lose signal while you're out and about, it'll automatically return to the GPS spot. Now, on your first 10 flights, very important with this battery, you're going to want to uh, charge it all the way up and then you're going to only let it go down to 50 percent and you're going to do that for 10 flights once you are done with those 10 flights you can let it run down to 20 to 30 percent and it's fine now when you hit your 20th flight what you're going to want to do is you hit the battery there it'll tell you all your battery levels right now they're at 3.99 3.98 uh, when you get to the 20th flight, you're going to fly this thing and if you see the low battery warning, I have it turned down to 15 and the critical battery warning turned down to 10. Uh, you also have your flight time which is tracked. On the 20th flight, you're going to let it sit and hover about two feet off the ground. It's going to try and land itself, but you hold the stick up enough to where it won't let it land. And you let it uh, on your main screen. That top right corner where it says 93, you're gonna let that run down all the way to pretty much zero. Even at zero, it's still about 20% battery in this thing. Uh, right below that percentage, it's 3.94. You wanna let that hit at least 3.35 in all your cells. And you're gonna recharge the battery to the full potential after that. And then you're gonna run it all the way down again in that same process, then fully recharge, and you're good for another 20 flights. Uh, let's go over some of the other 
you have your camera settings. Uh, it's got follow and FPV. Uh, follow on this model, you have to hold the remote for it to come with you. And you control that through different settings. There's a lot of little things that are within this thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, camera settings. Uh, you'll see on the right hand side below the menu, it's got a little camera. If you hit that top button, it'll slide over and then it shows the uh, recording. All you're going to do is hit the little red dot, it'll start your recording. Or you can flip back over just to take pictures. Uh, yeah, on the bottom panel, it'll have how high you are which it says 10.8 feet, which right now it isn't. Uh, the distance, how far out you are, and it has a VS, which is your vertical miles per hour, and your height. Anyway, that's like a real basic uh, <laughs> beginner myself kind of thing. Got on that. We'll go back into that. And we'll just go for a fun little flight. Oh, very importantly, especially in cold weather, you want to let it sit your quad uh, kind of warm up a bit. So don't put your uh, left joystick, don't hit it at 100 going up. You want to go about halfway up till you have everything warmed up. So let's uh, just take a little flight around. And I also have the Argtech uh, antenna mod, which I had got online from uh, Blue Proton. Very good stuff and I've been having just excellent results. Now let's go for a flight. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> it's one of my favorite little spots, Buffalo Wild Wings. And I usually stay roughly 200, under 400, of course. But it's just kind of neat. Even at nighttime, this camera is just outstanding. And in the event you lose track of your quad or you just get nervous or whatever, you can just let off everything and it will hover in place. On the left hand side there's a little arrow swooping down with an H. That is your uh, return to home. You're going to hit original point, home point and then you're going to slide that. Go home. And it will bring it back to you. <clears throat> also if you go out a great distance and lose track of it, it will uh, sense that it's lost communication with the remote and it will bring itself home. I have yet to lose this quad. Uh, since owning it, I got it Black Friday. 
and I've just been in love with this thing. Uh, you can fly pretty much anywhere. I like to fly at nighttime because nobody's out. Got a big empty parking lot. I uh, would suggest, you know, parks and different things. Uh, it's a really good beginner quad because it does have altitude hold. And it's, you know, there's no biggie on remote controlling of it. Now, if you see it again and you want to keep flying, that X on the left side, you're going to tap that. Cancel, return to home. Stop going home. I'm just going to turn the volumes up. Okay. And your camera, you can fully adjust to however you want. Straight down like I am right here. Straight out if you're you know, not sure what way you're facing. Also, the uh, little box on the left-hand bottom. That has your home point there. And if you tap that box, it'll go full screen. And it has all the streets around. Uh, there's a little arrow, uh, red arrow, blue arrow with a lock. You can unlock that. And you can go back into your... Now from what I've read, you can fly these things from like 14 degrees outside. Now keep in mind you want to have your battery warm prior to doing so, and preferably the quad is as well. Alright, we're a little high, so we're going to bring her back down a bit. Right here it's all fields and things, so nothing to, if, in the event if it were to fall out of the sky, not going to cause any harm. Would suck because I would lose my quad, but <laughs> there could be a lot worse things. Yeah, and the HS is how fast you're going, and the other one tells uh, your speed going up or down. Like if I push down, I'm going at four miles an hour down. But we don't want to go down, so we're going to turn around a little bit. Addy mode. Okay, we have magnetic interference wherever it's at. That's cool. This is where I'm at. Let's just take a little picture. That little white dot on the right. You just tap that. It takes you a picture. And also, if you notice on the uh, where it says here, on that left bottom side, I'm following back that uh, little yellow line. That's the path that I had came from. So there's a lot of little things on this quad that help you to find your original location. And this has just been one fun quad. So I'm going to end here. I'm going to continue doing some flying. And I hope this was helpful. And any other questions, feel free to leave comments.